my little party animals. Hip Hip Renee here today with a brand new video for you and this is going to be a short and sweet quick one. Uh, so I posted on Twitter the other day something along the lines of you're not a bad builder, you're just really bad at taking screenshots. And I really feel like I can't say this enough. There are a lot of people out there who are hesitant to share their Sims content because they don't think they're gonna get as many fake internet points as everybody else. And honestly, all it takes is a little bit of editing to make your screenshots go from this to this. It's the exact same build, guys. These are literally the exact same build, but one of them I edited to within inches of its life. So without getting into too much heavy detail, because a lot of this is just trial and error, I'm going to show you how I would edit a screenshot where I'm cutting out the background to place onto another background, and then how I would edit a screenshot that is just a full regular screenshot. Now I am going to be editing these in PhotoP. It's PhotoP.com. It is a free program. You use it directly from your browser. Um, that's just what I use. You can really use anything from Photoshop to GIMP to Canva. There are plenty of free options out there and there are a lot of really user-friendly options out there as well as plenty of apps that you can just download onto your phone and use from your phone. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do for honestly either of these builds, whether it be the full screenshot or the one where we're going to cut out the background, is to take a good screenshot. You wanna take a decent amount of screenshots, test it out with different lighting, different placement on the lot, because of course, when you place things differently and you use different lighting, you're going to end up with different shadows, different things highlighted. So definitely play around with where you're placing your builds and the angles at which you're taking your screenshots. I highly suggest placing a sim down on the build so that way you can go into tab mode and actually take like a really nice screenshot. I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to use tab mode only because James Turner, AKA formerly The Sim Supply, already has a really good video on this, which I will link down in the description. But go into your game, find some good angles, find some good lighting, and take like a billion screenshots. The next thing you're going to do if you are going to be cutting the background out of your photo is you're going to open it up into PhotoP or whatever program it is that you are using. And depending on your program, you may need to find a tutorial on how to do this within the program that you're using, but I just remove the background. I find it a lot easier to remove the background if I take the photo at an angle where behind the build or behind whatever it is I'm taking a screenshot of, it's all kind of the same color. So that is why you see a lot of the grass in the background of the photo that we're working on. But you just cut the background right out. From there, this is just a stylistic option. I like to add a little white border or a border of a color that is representative of the colors that are already in the photo. Just add a little white border. I add a little drop shadow to it. And then from there, we get to the editing. Now, like I said before, this is a lot of trial and error, but honestly, I just start clicking on all of the different options from contrast to saturation to vibrance to, you know, anything like that. And I just kind of play around with it until I get something that I really like. Nine times out of 10, what I am going to do is I'm going to up the brightness, I'm going to up the contrast, and I'm going to up the saturation. And that's kind of all I do a lot of the time. From there, I just slap a colorful background on it, preferably something that's contrasting. You don't want to have, you know, an all white room with an all white background because it'll kind of just fade into itself. Make it something bold, make it something fun, maybe make it something in the colors that you tend to use on your channel or on your Instagram or on your Twitter or even just your favorite color. And there you have it, that first one is edited. And honestly, if I posted both of these on Instagram at the exact same time, which one do you think would get more views and more likes and that people would just enjoy more? It's probably the edited one, if we're being honest. Now, if we're not going to be editing anything out of the photo and we're just editing the photo, honestly, 90% of the work is already done. Pose your Sims and take a nice screenshot or don't pose your Sims. Some people don't like their Sims being in their build photos. Take a screenshot however you want it to and then you're gonna bring that right into PhotoP or whatever program it is that you are using. 
And from there, we just need to go into, again, all of those little editing things. So I'm going to up the contrast, I'm going to up the saturation, I'm going to up the brightness, maybe I'll play around with a photo filter or two, and then this is just something that I enjoy doing and it doesn't work for every build, but this build has a really nice window, kind of really front and center. So all I did was go into one of the tools that are in Photopea and I added a lens flare and it just sticks a lens flare in there for you. You can move it right around the screen. You can resize it. You can make it brighter. You can make it less brighter. And I just think it adds a little something extra to that screenshot. From there, you just export your new screenshots and then share them wherever you happen to want to share them. It's honestly not super challenging. You don't have to use Photopea. It did take me a little while to wrap my head around how to use Photopea. I've never used Photoshop. I've heard it's similar, um, but you can do most of this stuff in Canva as well. Canva is free to use. It is super easy. It is super user friendly. And there are plenty of other programs, like I said before, if you know of a particular program or there's something that you like to use, please leave it down in the comments below. I hope this helped. I know it wasn't the most in-depth tutorial, but I just kind of wanted to show you the basics of maybe how to up your screenshot game a little bit. So leave a comment with your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for being here. And don't forget, you will get two new episodes of A Brief History this week. So make sure you are paying attention to see when those are uploaded. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.